Greetings YouTube and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play inside of Le Monde de with me Vitaly Vepa and thank you for joining me. You join me here on top of the central mountain we found at the start of the last episode where I said I would be building myself a storage facility. So whilst off camera I've set up a very basic oak tree farm, nice and compact there, got 21 oak trees growing at a time. I went off to the very edge of the jungle that we found during the last episode. As you can see, I've not opened up much more of the map. I literally walked around the bottom edge of the jungle, that's why it's filled in on the map. I've not gone too far in, um, and so I got myself a jungle tree while I was over there. We've obviously been growing a lot of these extra large spruce trees which are now available to us console users. These are fantastic at getting a really high yield of timber for building um, chests, sticks for tools, that sort of thing. We've picked up a dark oak tree from the edge of a roof forest and we've also been growing some birch trees as well because I love the mechanical texture these have within the steampunk text pack. This is going to be something I'm going to use a lot in the redstone contraptions rather than just placing the redstone repeaters and wiring down on bare blocks. I'm probably going to use these, uh, these uh, birch tree texture blocks because they do look very mechanical, very machine-like. And then I've been growing an enormous number of pumpkins. As you remember, I was got quite excited that I found some pumpkins last time. So I've been growing those. I've had a sugar cane farm on the go and a w very, very small wheat farm as well. So none of this is automated yet. This was just so that whilst off camera, I could get some basic resources to start building a storage room. Now, this was the cave I burrowed into last time. And as you can see, whilst off camera, I've done an awful lot of work here, guys, just to open this right out for us. So this is now around about 30 blocks wide, and this has enough width on it for exactly what I'm planning here. Ooh, I seem to have lost a cow somehow while off screen. We just, you know, no, you don't. Don't you dare escape. So somehow a cow's dropped dead while we've been... Uh, off camera so just chuck that in the furnace so as I said in this video I am actually going to finally get around to doing some building guys and I'm going to start laying up my uh, storage room now I don't have any redstone yet I've not been mining off camera so I'm not going to be a too quick off the mark here it's not like I'm going to be doing lots and lots and lots of uh, work off camera but what I will start doing is I'm going to start laying out ooh, I'm going to start laying out my storage room now, I've had some thoughts about this off camera I want to start using some of these new blocks like the andesite and the dodderite I'm not too keen on the granite I don't like the brownie pinky texture it's got in this texture pack I'm not a fan of granite in real life either to be honest it's one of those materials that you see in people's like kitchens when they tell you oh it's real granite that is and you think yeah it's really expensive but it's not the greatest looking material is it so I'm not a huge fan of granite truth be told um, but I do want to use some of these newer blocks that I've not, I've not really got to experiment with much before because they've not been available to us uh, lowly console users before so I do quite like this uh, dodder right I quite like the fact that it looks like a really expensive, um, almost marble-like floor, probably more marble-like than quartz looks. So I'm just thinking, obviously the steampunk aesthetics quite Victorian and checkerboard would have been very much the uh, the big deal back in the Victorian times. So I'm going to quickly replicate a checkered patterned floor here. I don't know if I've gone far enough out, but it's... Let's get, let's get a start on there. This room, as I say, this was my uh, rudimentary cave that I burrowed into last time. I've just looked at expanding it, trying to trying to stop mobs from spawning in here. As you can see, I've got a large number of torches down. It's worked out okay. I had one jump scare uh, quite early on where I was set upon by a zombie when uh, coming back in from the tree farm. So not exactly my proudest of moments, but... We've managed to get on since then, so it's uh, 
We're going to be using some dirt in this build, guys, but only only as like a placeholder block as such. Um, it's not it's not a block that I choose to build in. <laughs> So if that's one, two over, and then we go to here, that should be our first line of blocks up. So we can start working out exactly where we are. I'm just going to grab some blocks into my inventory then. As you can see, I've got a nice stack of chests, got good stacks of, uh, got a good stack of glass, etc. Let's put those back in. So, let's work this out. Let's get some of these other blocks here ready. Let's put the food away for a minute. Hopefully we won't be needing that too often. Right. Yeah. Okay, we're only going to take one heart of damage each time I do that. That's not too terrifying. So it's that. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh dear, we need to be six high, I think, for this particular build. So luckily, I do have some tools on me for the job. So if we break our way down like that. So I quite often use dirt blocks in survival when building. I do miss the uh, freedom that Creative affords you where you can just literally zip around fly around and uh place yourself down really easily but unfortunately i don't have that option available to me at the moment i've just realized as well that because i haven't been mining yet i don't have any redstone available to me to make um redstone chests which is a little frustrating so i can't do double chest arrangements yet so that's going to hold me back. I think if at the begin, if for this episode we just get on and try and build ourselves a uh, a starting out of the storeroom, and then after that, I think I'm going to try and use chunkbase.com and find where my slime farm needs to be, guys, because without i think starting the slime farm will give me all the resources i need redstone wise hopefully actually get me down the path of starting some um mining as well so we can get some emeralds for some trades and also get hold of a load of redstone and be good to get some diamond as well on the go definitely going to need some diamond oh going to need something to eat there we go I'm finding the food uh, the food animations a bit glitched at the moment. I don't know if anyone else has been experiencing this. I think I'm currently, at the time of recording, I'm in TU32, I think I'm in at the moment. And yeah, I'm finding that food is ever so slightly glitched in that it's not animating straight away. Let me just check I've got this right. Uh, I think I should have come over one more there. I really do. One, two. Let's think about this. I'm thinking of where the redstone is going to be going in the future, you see, guys. That's the, that's the difficulty I've got at the minute. So I'm trying to plan ahead for something that's not yet done, you see. Because this will be the input chest here. It won't let me place that down. I think I need to move everything over one. Let me just work this out. So I have two blocks here that would probably be in the polished and the site as they will be just general walls. And that would be the same over this side. There's a good chance there. And then we have so the doors there and then we're one, two over. And then we have the input chest below this fella. And then we need, ah, that's where I've gone wrong. Oh dear, I need to take all of these chests out. It's a bit of, it's a bit of, um, the difficulty I've got is I need a good storage room on the go. Because at the moment, like, like most beginning worlds, there are just chests everywhere, stuff everywhere. And I don't have any... 
and I'm trying to think ahead as well for when we have redstone implemented that these uh, that these um, chests are going to be all hooked up to a huge system of droppers and hoppers so that everything gets sorted automatically so trying to bear all of that in mind as well at the moment basically trying to second guess myself in a way and plan ahead Right, it's another two up. Okay, and don't we have it there. So let's get these in. This is the difficulty with wanting them placed certain ways around as well. Obviously, in creative, a little bit easier. But however, with this being survival, we're going to have to be really careful how we line things up. So we just build across I'm a bit happier with this and then oh, both of these are in the wrong place as well unfortunately guys I do apologize but bear with me hopefully we get the bare bones of this uh, room sorted out I realize as well where I'm not I'm not an experienced youtuber by any means um, I've only ever made quite basic videos and this is all new to me and I'm finding that having my iPad in front of me with the stopwatch on it for sort of like the um, how long you have to build in is quite intimidating at times. And oh, it it definitely adds to it definitely adds to the tension for me. <laughs> it's sort of becoming a bit of a how quick can you build kind of situation. <laughs> So we need chests out. We don't have those out yet. Okay. So this is oh these are so awkward to place, aren't they? There we go. There we go. And then again we need a block of dirt below us. Can't believe I'm gonna say this guys, but I think I might need more dirt on me. Don't know if I've got enough dirt. And there's something that most uh, Minecrafters don't say too often, is it? That they don't have enough dirt. Let's take some of these back. We don't need any of those. Right. Three, four, five, six. Oh. Yeah. That's definitely a problem I've got there. Five, six in that the ceiling's been set out perfectly to accommodate this room however I hadn't accounted for being able to jump up and down when I get to the top so that was poor hindsight definitely let's get a load of half slabs we're going to want those across the top I can hear a mob, but I definitely can't see him. Hmm. Let's get some torches around the back here. Definitely going to be of use. Yep. Right. I can hear an enderman, I just can't see him. It's probably a good thing. I don't, I'm, I'm still vet, I may have quite, you should probably note guys, I've, I've built up quite a few levels, but that's mainly from um, breeding cows to, for their leather so I could make item frames for this storage room. I've not really been fighting many mobs, I've still only got I have an iron sword from the uh, blacksmith we found last time, but I still don't have any armor. I have no tools hardly, so I'm still in quite a vulnerable position early on here. So let's check where we're up to. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Those would be redstone chests. Six, seven, eight. So. Block nine will just be very simply five. All right, 
and then if we crouch and then knock ourselves down to the bottom that's the next series of pipes so if we were to place down another couple of jack-o'-lanterns and swap over to these and let's get a torch up there for now they will have to go eventually but we'll work out where the lights can go as we um, work our way across because then we will be able to um, once we've got the redstone on the go obviously redstone torches will kick out a little bit of light for us but the main bulk of it will definitely have to come from just getting a few torches or maybe a few additional jack-o'-lanterns in the back if we, right there we go and then we need oh there we go bit of better aim so if we get these chests placed down we want these side on and then one more for the top bugger <laughs> absolutely missed that top one epic fell he's probably going to get stuck there as well just for added measure force us to mine our way across to him what a disaster so I'm not used to working under Ooh. cool I don't know what I glitched out on then but that was truly bizarre okay so that's two banks of chests in and then I know that the next thing this uh, whole dropper farm will need is it will have to have a double, it has to have a gap of two lots of droppers now because there's only so far the redstone clock will be able to power this system so if we leave a gap here of two Go. And then up to that, we just keep breaking away all this dirt as and when we need it. And then, which one? we've been placing these on the third one up for now, haven't we? Make sure we don't get any mobs spawning behind. There we go. And let's do let's do a bit of detail work round the door before um unfortunately we're gonna be pretty much at the end of this episode. So as you can see we've started setting out our our room. I'm gonna do a quick bit of detailing around the door, I think, to end this episode on. Try and make this look a bit like a vault door is my thought process here for now if we just chuck that there and that there and if we were to punch a couple of holes in and put some further blocks in like so Oh, don't like that. Much prefer that. If we take this one away, say so everything's sort of like being made up on the fly here, guys. I can't ever really say that what the grand scheme of any of these builds is. It's just when things look right, they look right, you know? It's. Just trying to get it to look like a vault, basically. There we go. I'm happy with that, I would say. 
and that block there is going to be pretty useless to us because it won't be seen so I am going to have to say guys that's the end of this episode this is all I was able to get built in this short amount of time but as you can see my storage room is taking shape you can see the amount of storage that we're going for there's going to be these multiple banks behind us each of them will be made up of six double chests and six double trap chests and it will be banks of those reaching all the way back here as far as our cow farm it will give us around about, I think I worked out I needed 120 chests to make each of the double chests and um, double trap chests each side so it should give us around 240 double chest storage I think that will do the bulk of main items and then there will probably be another floor built below to house just um, excess amounts of cobblestone dirt and gravel so thank you for joining me um, and I will look forward to seeing you all next time see you then bye